Hello again my good YouTubers, I just wanted to make a quick video, um, there's a few uh, websites that go on about how to solder onto enameled copper wire and uh, they don't really, they, you know, I mean they, they explain some people use a bit of emery cloth to scrape the enamel off prior to soldering, others use uh, other methods such as using a big lighter or some form of, of, of uh, cigarette lighter to burn the enamel off prior to soldering. Um, I'm going to show you the way I do it, which is basically just try to straight solder it. Um, there's no need to do the scraping of the enamel or anything like that. Some, sometimes some of, the, some of the copper enamel is a little harder, but you just have to be a bit more patient, put a little bit more heat in from your soldering iron. So there's no need really to um, do much cleaning, just use your soldering iron to do it. Um, I'm using lead free silver solder which melts at a bit high temperature, I think it's about 225 degrees Celsius. Um, it's a 4% silver content uh, lead free silver solder. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm using a temperature controlled uh, Weller soldering iron. So, um, so yeah, here goes without further ado. Um, as you can see, this is actually going to be quite simple, but here is the copper wire and uh, what we're going to do is, right on the tip is obviously where it's been cut, where you've cut with your snippers for instance. Now that's going to take with the initial start of the solder much better. So you, that's where you start, you start right on the tip, so as soon as you tin that, then that's enough for the solder to get underneath the enamel of the copper wire and you can then continue your 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 tinning of it um, anyway here we go so we put the heater or the iron onto the onto the end of the copper wire and we'll put a bit on there until we see that the end of the copper wire has gone a little silver we just keep holding the iron on there don't worry about getting it too hot Oops. you know there's no component this isn't an electrical component here so get a nice bead of solder going on the tip of your soldering iron just keep feeding solder in but take it very slowly down the copper wire as you feed in so you can transfer the heat basically obviously you can make this more stable if you want obviously I'm you know mine's a bit um, I'm just working on it just propped up straight off the roll here but you can you know clamp this in a helping hands or anything like that but as you can see as I'm going down you see how the heat of the solder from the soldered part coming on to the next copper part is burning through the enamel and you've got this black stuff that's forming which is basically the enamel burning so we do that let's get rid of some of that solder and we can obviously we can continue on as far as we want here and you just keep you know clearing away a bit of the the, 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 the just keep filtering, filtering in a lot of solder every so often. Just keep going back into it. So coming back onto the tint part and then pushing forward so that it burns the enamel and takes it with it. Add a bit more solder just to clean it out. And there you go. And that, as you can see there, I've gone down, oh, what, a good inch? A good inch. I can just come back to the start, clean up any further enamel that's on there. Of course as you can see solder is now actually taken to the wire quite well. Just give this a little bit of enamel still left there, a bit of enamel still left there. And we can just work it backwards and forwards like that. As you can see, apart from that being hot, that is taking the enamel off and uh, Soldered the um, soldered onto the copper, and obviously, as I say, you can length it up. You can put that into your PCB board, whatever you're doing, whatever job you're doing, or attach that, whether it be a coil inductor or whatever it is, and that's how you do it. Um, as you see, no emery cloths, no lighter. Just use your soldering iron, um, and uh, obviously, give it a little longer to cool down. Um, unlike me, where I touched it straight away. That's it. 
Simple as plain cut as that. Anyway, thanks a lot, my good YouTubers. Hope that's helped somebody. So, catch you again. Bye.